Good afternoon. This is Joey Schlater with Schlater's Incorporated. This video tutorial is going to go over how to update the firmware on your Trimble FMX display. Uh, we know it's important to update the firmware right now just to keep up with the changes that will be happening to the GPS satellites uh, come April of 2019. Uh, the GPS clock is changing formats and so if your uh, firmware is not at the proper date you may have complications with that. So this will be like I said for the FMX display. So go to schladersinc.com the first thing we're going to do is download the firmware, uh, the newest firmware for the FMX. So if you click on support and click software downloads, here's where we keep all the firmware for all the current versions of FMX, TMX, and base stations. So the current firmware versions for the FMX integrated display, here it's FMX version 10.13. So click on that. The file is hosted through Google Drive. Now you don't need to sign in or, or do anything to actually download the file. Uh, but when this comes up, what we're going to do is we're going to hit the download button because what we're going to download is this 10.13.upg. That's the upgrade file. So the download button is at the top right, so click your download. This is going to download that UPG file and put it in your downloads folder. So you can see at the bottom uh, right hand corner, it will start to download. Depending on your internet speed, this may take just a few moments up to a number of minutes. Um, it is a, about a 60 to 70 meg file, so it's not a very small file. Uh, it take a little bit to download, uh, but once it's done, we'll be ready to move it to the USB drive. Okay, so the download's complete. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to your downloads folder. You can find your downloads folder by clicking on the Windows folder icon uh, down at the bottom uh, of your screen. When you click on that, a Windows uh, Explorer will open up. I'm going to go to my downloads. And if I look through here, I'm going to find the, the version 10.13 FMX display firmware, which I can see right here. So what I'm going to do is right click on it, left click on copy, then I'm going to go and take my USB drive and plug it into my computer. Now for those of you that are tech savvy, yes, you can save this file directly to the USB drive. Um, but now that we've copied it, I'm going to come over here, I see my USB drive E. On your computer, it may be in different drive letter, D, F, G, whichever it may be. And it also might say removable disk. But go ahead and click on that. And then over here in the white part of the screen, right click and hit paste. And you'll see that file copy over. And this will take just a moment or two depending on the speed of your computer. But once this is copied, we can see the version 10.13 FMX display firmware.upg. The file size is 68 megabytes. Well, it says 68,000 kilobytes, which is 68 megabytes. So your file size should be about that size. If it's not, then it might not have downloaded completely. At this point in time, we're going to go take it to our FMX display and update from there. So let's move to our FMX. Okay, so next we're going to go to our FMX. You're going to take the USB drive that we just downloaded the firmware file and put it on and plug it into the FMX. Give it a few moments for the FMX to recognize the USB drive. But just to verify the firmware version that we currently have, if you click on system information, it will show you uh, that the firmware version is 9.25. But then we'll go back to support and come over here and click on the upgrade button. We'll click on the upgrade button. And here you'll see the firmware upgrade page. What we're going to want to do is click on the version 10.13 so it highlights it in blue. Once it's highlighted in blue, you'll see the upgrade button is now active. So click the upgrade button and it's going to start the upgrade process. It'll take about 10 minutes to go through and once it's done upgrading, the display is going to power down. Once it's powered down, you're going to power it back on and you'll notice it'll still say firmware update in progress, do not remove power. Also leave your USB drive plugged in this entire time. But once it's booted back up to the home screen and you click on system information again, you should see the version is 10.13. And now your FMX is all up to date and ready to go. Hope this video tutorial has been helpful for you. You have a good day.